Many people describe the Bermuda Triangle as a mysterious area in the ocean. Over 100 planes and ships disappeared. They vanished forever. It is located in the north and forms a triangle between Florida, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda. It appears to be in the shape of a triangle. It is over 500,000 square miles in size. The tales of the Bermuda Triangle have been around for over 500 years. In 1492, Christopher Columbus encountered a setback during his search for the New World. He mentioned that his guide stopped working at this point. One night, a ship captain noticed a mysterious light in the sky. The fireball's light fell into the water in front of him like a flare. This is where the puzzle started. This place has had different names throughout its history. The Atlantic Sea of Doom, also called the Sargasso Graveyard, is a mysterious and deadly area in the Atlantic Ocean. The names originated in the 18th and 19th centuries. Vince Hayes Gaddis coined the term Bermuda Triangle in 1964 in his article The Deadly Bermuda Triangle, published in Argosy magazine. This paper summarizes the long history of people disappearing in the Bermuda Triangle, attempting to connect them. He wanted to make things mysterious, but he did not provide a clear explanation for the reason behind the happenings. However, during that period, the Bermuda Triangle mystery was a topic of great discussion. Many authors wrote books about it due to its fame. Songs, movies, and computer games have featured the Bermuda Triangle, contributing to its fame. Throughout history, generations have passed down numerous popular stories. However, the veracity of these tales remains unconfirmed. We use the term tales to refer to them. Urban myths are a type of mythology that circulates in modern society. However, these myths are often presented as true stories, but they are actually fictional. Many intelligent individuals do not believe in the existence of the Bermuda Triangle. Why do so many unfortunate events occur in the Bermuda Triangle? Despite the numerous theories and speculations surrounding this phenomenon, the truth behind the Bermuda Triangle's reputation remains elusive. There are some individuals who believe that aliens were responsible for the disappearance of planes and ships. Some people believe that a massive monster lurking beneath the ocean is responsible for the mysterious disappearances. Some people think the water here is strange and that ships and planes can sink in it. These ideas are confusing. Let's focus on scientific ideas. Magnetism might be a factor. Hey friends, did you know that the magnetic North Pole and the North Pole of the Earth are not the same thing? The north point of a compass helps find the magnetic North Pole. The actual North Pole is nearby. The North Pole is a location in geography it is the northernmost point on Earth and is located in the Arctic Ocean. The North Pole is also known as the Geographic North Pole or True North. It is the point where the Earth's axis of rotation intersects. Please take a look at this image. Many people ponder the distinction between the magnetic and physical North Poles, just as individuals did centuries ago when relying on compasses. A compass can display the physical and magnetic North Poles in certain regions. This story takes place in agony. These lines of discomfort develop with time. The zero degree line has been in the Bermuda Triangle for around 200 to 300 years. This may be confusing. The Bermuda Triangle is surprisingly shallow, which is extremely unusual. Satellite maps reveal the blue seas surrounding the Bahamas and other Caribbean islands a long body of shallow water. When seen from space, the water surrounding it looks dark blue. Ships became stuck in the shallow water. Underwater, there were raised areas called shorelines. They couldn't see it from the ships. When ships reached the top of the area, they became stuck. This area has a lot of hurricanes. Following the US and Cuba, China is third in terms of the likelihood of experiencing a storm. Cuba is located in this region. Which U.S. state has the most hurricanes? Florida is a state located in the southeastern part of the United States. It is known for its warm climate 
beautiful beaches, and diverse wildlife. Florida is the third most populous state here in this location. This place experiences hurricanes and floods frequently. The fourth reason is that gas can form hydrates. There are large deposits of methane hydrates in certain oceans. Researchers in Australia have discovered that an excess of methane bubbles can reduce the density of water, leading to the sinking of ships as they are unable to stay afloat. The same idea holds true. When there is more salt in the water, it becomes denser, making it easier for objects to move through it. The Dead Sea is also similar. In most cases, when people enter the ocean, they tend to sink due to the water's density. However, the Dead Sea is an exception to this, as its high density allows individuals to float on its surface. Things that are similar are going backwards. Methane releases into the ocean can lead to the formation of mud volcanoes. Deep sea volcanoes release methane gas that can cause a ship to sink unexpectedly if it is located above them. You disappeared and nobody hears from you anymore. Scientists have confirmed that methane hydrates are not directly responsible for any disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle. Scientists have proven this. However, there is no scientific evidence proving that it caused ships to lose their way. The fifth reason seems very important to me. Due to the psychological aspect, this is an illusion of frequency. Frequency illusion is a psychological effect. It says that when we pay more attention to something, we find it more often. Do you remember when someone in your family bought a car? You will most likely see your new car on the road more and more over the next few days or months. It would look like the same type on the road. You might also think that more people bought the type after you. In all honesty, there wasn't much change in the traffic. After you got it, it stayed common. You noticed it more after you bought the car. In the same way, the Bermuda Triangle is fine. Some big planes and boats went missing in the Bermuda Triangle, but they have also gone missing in many other places across the seas. The Malaysian Airlines flight is a recent case. The Bermuda Triangle was not responsible for the disappearance of the Malaysian Airlines flight. When people learned about the Bermuda Triangle secret, they paid more attention to things that went missing and happened there. Around the Bermuda Triangle, accidents are taking place. People outside the Bermuda Triangle didn't pay attention to similar events. In the book, The Bermuda Triangle Mystery Solved, author Larry Kusher also found this. He wrote that some people began making up stories after the Bermuda Triangle mystery got a lot of press. They were mystery-seeking and totally made-up stories. According to the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, there is no proof that planes and ships go missing more often in the Bermuda Triangle than in any other water area. Not really. Similar mysterious disappearances happen in other seas as well. According to the U.S. Coast Guard, this means that they don't think the Bermuda Triangle is dangerous. The fact that the Bermuda Triangle is a busy area could help explain some of the mystery. Ships and airplanes frequent the Bermuda Triangle, increasing the likelihood of such accidents. That, along with the fact that storms often hit the Bermuda Triangle and the Gulf Stream is present, makes it easy to understand why ships might sometimes sink there. The Bermuda Triangle is easy to explain. It's an area with thin water that is prone to hurricanes. Despite frequent storms in the area, the WWF's 2013 list of the world's 10 most dangerous waterways for shipping did not include the Bermuda Triangle. To put it simply, the disappearances have nothing to do with the Bermuda Triangle. What did Columbus see fall into the water as a ball of fire? The answer is simple and based on science. Scientists think that Columbus saw a meteor. If you enjoyed the video, do like and subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching.